Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to InfoFo Blazers. Today is Monday, February 28th. I'm Marissa. And I'm Maria. Today's the last day of Black History Month. This year's theme was Black Health and Wellness. We know that next year's theme will be anti-Black violence and resistance in the diaspora. Health officials say that the new Omicron strain of COVID-19 has been detected in the D.C. region, but preliminary data is showing that a new wave of serious infections is unlikely. The BA2 strain is thought to be more transmissible, but causes lighter symptoms than the original Omicron variant, especially if reinfected. February 23rd has been recognized as a Maud Aubrey Day in the state of Georgia. In honor of Aubrey, people are encouraged to run 2.23 miles annually for racial equality. Montgomery County student told leaders and school officials that more mental health support and resources are needed for students in public schools. This past Wednesday, a Zoom session was hosted by Council Member Tom Hucker to give students the opportunity to speak out about mental health. In response to the amount of unexpected school closures this year, MCBS has decided to make April 1st a half day for students and to add on two additional full days to the school year. I know we both wish that they hadn't. Let's go to Declan, who covered the girls' big win against Wheaton. What's up, Blazers? I'm here as girls' basketball takes on their final game of the season against Wheaton. It looks to be an interesting game. It was an excellent game by Blair tonight. Our Blazers kicked off the game with a dominating lead. The offense was unrelenting, and the defense locked down the court, preventing Wheaton from scoring many points. The pace of the game was picked up by Blair off the start, and never put back down. Wheaton struggled to manage Blair's speed throughout the game, with Blair scoring many points shortly after turnovers. As the game moved closer to the end, our Blazers never let up their strong game, and pulled out a victory for Blair. It was a great game tonight, Blazers. How do you think you all performed? I think we played well. Um, I really liked how we played as a team, and I thought it was a good performance. What do you think you could improve on going into the postseason? Uh, I think we need to just run our plays better, play harder defense, just really want to win and like want to perform well and beat like the harder teams that we are going to face. And obviously you all performed very well tonight. What do you think you did well? Um, I think we really moved the ball well, and almost everyone on our team scored, so... I think we ran our offense well, and we played hard defense, and we forced a lot of turnovers, so that was all good. All right, thank you very much. It was a great game tonight, Blazers, and a great way to end the regular season. We look forward to seeing what you can do in the postseason. From BNC, I'm Declan Hurley, signing off for now. Thanks, Declan, and congrats to the Blazers on your continued great work. Are you a musician, a sculptor? Do you draw and paint? No matter what art you make, feel free to send it over to Silver Quill for this year's magazine. Please send all submissions to silver, silverquillmag at gmail.com and tell your friends too. SSL opportunities can be found at the link below. Anyone can volunteer to help teach those over 60 to use iPads, help the spring cleanup at Black Hill Park, or help run Tacoma Park Middle School's outdoor ed. If you're a senior, you can volunteer for Kits to Heart afternoons on half days. If interested in kits to hearts, you must sign up by this Wednesday. And that's all for today's show. Check out our website at bncaonline.net to submit any announcements and follow us at bnc underscore Blair on Instagram, at BNC Blair on TikTok and on Twitter at BNC Blair. Please keep wearing your mask and be mindful of COVID safety measures. Have a magnanimous Monday. See you tomorrow, Blazers.